Hey, it's Andrew Helmich here from PhotoBizX. If you're running Facebook ads and you're giving away free sessions and you're getting a lot of people applying for those free sessions that wanna get that free session from you, one of the best ways to qualify those leads is to send people to a questionnaire first. I mentioned this in a video that I recorded about Jan who received over 50 entrants in 24 hours. If you want more information about this exact strategy and you want to see examples of questionnaires, there's a Facebook ads course if you go to fbadpromo, fbadpromo.com, you'll see the registration form for the Facebook ads course there. But I can share a lot more with you right now. So the questionnaire is where you would send people. You can send them directly from your ad or you can send them via a PM once someone comments on your ad. So you can ask people to comment in a strategic way so you don't get flagged by Facebook. One of the easy ways to do that is to ask the ages of the kids, their favorite location to hang out, whatever. Ask them some kind of a question. They leave a comment and then you can follow up with a PM directly from Facebook. And from there you can send people to a questionnaire. If you want to be more aggressive, send people straight to the questionnaire from your Facebook ad. Now that questionnaire, depending on whether or not you're shooting weddings, portraits or pets, is going to change in relation to the questions that you ask. If, for example, you're a wedding photographer, I would want to know things like the date of the wedding once it's booked because I want to know whether or not I'm booked and if I'm going to be available to photograph that wedding. If I'm already booked, and I don't have associate shooters to cover the wedding, that person or that couple aren't gonna get a free engagement shoot from me. I'm gonna move on to someone else that's a better fit, particularly if I'm looking to book their wedding on the back of the engagement shoot. Other things I'll ask is, do you have a wedding photographer booked? I'll ask them personal details about where they met, how long they've been together. If they envisage winning this engagement shoot, their favorite location to, to go for one of these shoots, it could be a river, down by the river, by the rocks, the ocean, uh, a park, I'm trying to get a bit of a feel about the couple because if they tick all the boxes for me, then when I call them to actually qualify them, um, I guess, more accurately, I'm going to have some talking points already. I'm going to know a little bit about their background. Uh, I'm going to ask them to even submit a photo when they apply for this free session. So there's lots of things, lots of hoops you can have people jump through to help qualify them as your ideal couple. Now, just sticking with engaged couples for a second, if, if you're like a good friend of mine, Ian Sim, who's a photographer based in Melbourne, He's actually built a great business around photographing couples, but not photographing all their weddings. So he's happy to book a couple for a shoot if they have a photographer booked, as long as they haven't had an engagement shoot, because he's got the potential to make great sales on the back end of that shoot. And he doesn't care so much about the wedding. For me, I generally go into these free sessions with the aim of booking the wedding and making a sale from the engagement shoot. But if the engagement shoot goes well, and I have a chance to make a great relationship or build a great relationship with a couple, I'm looking to book their wedding. And if they do book their wedding, I'm gonna give them a bunch of the files, maybe all the files for free from that engagement session. So depending on how I've got things set up for that model call, for that promo. Now, if you're a portrait photographer, um, there are some other things you can ask instead. Certainly you wanna get some details, some background on the family. Maybe you wanna know whether or not they've ever had a family shoot with a professional photographer in the past. You can ask whether they're interested in buying more prints or wall art after the shoot. If they say no there, you know off the bat, isn't a good family for you to photograph if you wanna make sales in the back end. If they say yes, you could also mention on that form that what most families spend is around $1,000 once they fall in love and see their photos. So again, you're helping to qualify the families before they get given this free shoot. You want to scare off the people that really aren't interested in spending more after you give away these free sessions. That's the whole idea. The whole idea of these Facebook promos, these Facebook ads, is to generate leads, get bookings, with your ideal clients. So use your questionnaire to help weed out those not so ideal clients, but it's imperative that you still follow up with a phone call. On the phone is where you get to make a good connection quickly and easily. You get to get a, a good idea whether or not this is the right client for you. And what you can do, because you're only giving away, say five free sessions, is if you get the feeling that this isn't the right family for you, the right couple, the right clients, then all you do is say, listen, I've had so much interest in this promotion. I have to go through some more phone calls, get in touch with some more interested people. If you get selected as one of the lucky families, I'll be back in touch to schedule a shoot. If, however, you don't get selected, um, how would you like me to let you know about future promotions? Because you're looking, if they say yes, you want them to, you're looking to add them to your email list so you can follow up in the future. So it's very easy to find your ideal client using the questionnaire, using a phone call, a follow-up phone call, 
and you've always got to get out of jail card by offering those free sessions only to your ideal clients. You don't have to give them away to everyone. You're looking for your ideal client who's interested in working with you, spending more after the shoot. The tricky part, which isn't so tricky if you follow the process, is to weed out the ones that aren't going to spend more money with you afterwards. Again, if you want more information on this, it's all laid out over at fbadpromo.com, fbadpromo.com. Lots, lots of information there, but if you do have any follow-up questions, then feel free to leave a comment underneath the video. All right, it's Andrew Helmich here from PhotoBizX. I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now.